Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Aries, for July 2022. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Aries, go on ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, honey. It's completely free to do, uh, Aries, and it helps out this tarot reading channel out a lot, honey. All right, now, Aries, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, darling. All right, that's how you get the uh, best reading for your energy, darling. It's not just catering your reading to one uh just your zodiac sign darling you want to go to your sun moon rising and venus sign all right honey and so aries in this weekly tarot reading also be sure to check out your monthly reading that i did for you darling uh for just yeah for july of course <laughs> but anyways aries we're going to be doing three rows for you darling your first row is going to be for your financial situation as well as your career all right and then your second row, Aries, is going to be talking about your social life, what is going on in your social life, what, you know, this is tapping into just your relationships with people, darling. You, you, you know what a social life is, right, honey? And then in your third row here, Aries, we're going to be getting into uh, just some general messages that y'all need to be hearing at this time. All right. So enough of the babbling, darling, Aries. Let's get right into this here. Starting this energy out with the Queen of Wands, darling. All right. The Queen of wands this is your energy in more than one way the back of the deck this is just your overall theme all right aries as well as this is your energy in the sense of wands is fire energy spoiler alert darling if you didn't already know aries you're a fire sign right you're taking charge i feel as if at this point in time aries you are being admired by those around you i feel as if the more that you put yourself out there the better off the better that you are received it's like the sense of where for you Aries like I feel like for a while now you have felt as if you are misunderstood I feel as if for a while now you feel as if you couldn't have uh taken action I get I get like being shown chains as, as if you feel, felt chained uh to the desk is what I hear chained to where you couldn't uh have the sense of freedom with following in your passion following like just leading with your heart all right uh aries some of you guys might be coming out of a hermit hermiting phase here so i like to see this but overall and uh aries i want to just celebrate you darling for uh embracing this queen of wands journey all right because big things are going to be happening for you you're going to be rewarded greatly for this darling because of you choosing to own this energy all right so now let's get into your career uh here aries keeping in mind that the queen of wands energy blesses all three of these rows here so for your career and social situation aries we have the four of wands the six of cups as well as the seven of pentacles here all right I feel like when it comes to your financial situation, it's, it's, it's as if you guys are leaving something in the past by you guys choosing to no longer look backwards at like what had happened, maybe where you had made some bad investments with people or uh, with some stocks or what have you, darling, like you are no longer looking backwards. All right. And that's the key point, right? Because the queen of wands isn't able to be the queen of wands because she's only going forward, right? The queen of wands and going backwards or looking backwards, like it doesn't, it doesn't mix, right? It's like oil and water. It doesn't make sense. And so for many of you Aries, if you are noticing that you are in like a financial place of just being stuck or like just this sense of stale energy, all right, reflect on that. See how you can further embrace that um, queen of wands energy to go forward because it's, I get the sense of where that's, this is this four of wands here. This is what the queen of wands is intending on. She's intending on following their passion to get to, the, to this destination of the 11 11 portal right it's always accompanied by other people right getting to her family getting to her soul tribe here while also honoring what it is that she has wished for for so long and gingers obviously do not matter to me darling i mean look at my nails honey all right i'm a man wearing some press-ons honey obviously genders don't matter but this is the destination that the queen of wands wants queen of wands wants to be here but no more looking in the past darling no more looking in the past i see with this page of pentacles as well as the six of cups here by definition both of these represent receiving something so you guys might be receiving a job offer soon receiving an offer um in terms of like potential collaborations because again like you're not alone in that destination there uh aries but really just some solid things happening in your career path darling all right so we'll touch more into those clarifiers of course later aries but now let's get into your social life here let's see what's going on there 
Two of Wands. Lots of Wands energies, by the way. Can I take a notice of that? Uh, Wheel of Fortune with the Magician uh, Tarot cards here. Aries, okay. Now, for your social life here, I feel like you're taking control of your life again. It feels as if for your social life, there's something that happened, some pain perhaps that happened, or just... Is as if something that you had to take care of in your personal life, Aries, before you could continue going forward, continue going forward and like, you know, maybe it's been a while since you have socialized with new connections. Maybe it's been, a, you know, I feel, feel as if you had to take care of personal business. What that personal business is, is your business alone, Aries, right? It's none of mine to be delving into here in this subject. But I feel as if you guys are now able to like, again, there's this consistency with the two of wands here as well. It's like this consistency, Aries, if you'll notice, of just constantly looking forward, paying attention to where it is, the destination of where it is that they want to go, darling. All right. And again, by folk like it's the sense of now for you aries um now that you've taken care of that personal business well again also it might be same theme here where it's just like you're no longer are looking behind aries uh behind you at past relationships like you're just the distractions are just no longer relevant for uh the relationships that you're going to be bringing forth now because i feel as if for many of you guys with this magician energy and this wheel of fortune it's like you're starting to take manners matters into your own hands darling and with the wheel of fortune being the center of this spread here uh big changes right with the wheel of fortune complementing the queen of wands there it's just it's again that sense of um that's how you get the wheel of fortune starting to turn more into your favor aries is by um being that queen of wands right but as i was saying beforehand i feel like you're taking matters into your own hands now when it comes to your social life but just like your life in general right i feel like you're just no longer you're just so disinterested in the past and what uh has kept you locked down for so long now you have the ace as well as ten of pentacles very fitting with the hierophant energy here darling all right i'm gonna be making some predictions for you now here aries i feel as if as long as you keep up with this momentum here you are going to be doing some big things in your life here uh july is going to be a month for you where it's like the pressure is on but it's in a really good way the pressure is on for you aries because now you it's like what are you going to do with this energy with this momentum that has been building up for you here all right you guys have the strong potential here aries uh in the month of july to really start putting the building blocks to uh something long term i'm going to use the word empire but i know that can kind of sound dramatic perhaps aries but what i mean by this is just like for a while now you have been just so distracted with like your personal life and whatever it, whatever it is that you've had to just maintain and just handle even like your mental health for some of you uh aries but uh what is there's like a quote it's just like it's the dawn of a new day for you i think is what i wanted to say uh aries dawn of a new day for you where it's different like you're different now aries um and it's like for you if you keep up with this momentum now it's just like during that period of where you had to take care of your personal business your personal life like you're going to be making up for that time and then some i see for a, just a lot of productivity for you aries i see just like again it's just like the more that you choose to push yourself the more that you reap the benefits the more that you're going to realize as a magician just how powerful of a creator uh, of a manifester that you are and i want you to take note here of the same uh candle here and now the magician in general has all the suits around them because the magician is known to use all the tools in the toolbox area so naturally be there but the candle is what screamed out to me the most and i even made a comment earlier i believe aries or maybe i kept it in my head also candle honey come on candle but um, <laughs> bath and body works i believe wait they're not even sponsored anyways honey um imagine if I, that was just like a random sponsor drop that would have been like the weirdest thing <laughs> anyways that candle it's like i'm just noticing the same theme here of just like that wands that fiery energy right that passion right it's like you found yourself again aries and i celebrate you <clears throat> darling darling so now let's start clarifying your rows here let's start clarifying your career and financial row here 
the world card, the Ace of Wands again, darling, right? Uh, with the High Priestess energy, Page of Cups coming in here in the back of the deck. Opportunities are coming for you, all right? Again, there's some type of, something's going to be, you're going to be receiving some type of offer, uh, Aries, that really elevates your financial success here. I really see that. Um, so be paying attention for that. Be open to it. High Priestess energy really matching this Hierophant energy as well. The Hierophant is technically, I, I, I suppose, is the male high, uh, high Priestess is how some people perceive them as, right? So it's definitely, there's some type of relevant offer that you're going to be receiving here and it's going to be getting you in alignment. Like, I don't know, I just hear like alignment when it comes to your work life and like those that what you do with that ace of wands with the world card coming in here as well again it's that sense of like i want to point out firstly the wands of course darling right i mean immediately we pull this for you again following in that passion following with what drives you here and it's like with that drive uh that you do aries it's like putting the end of whatever that slow error was for you for your creation process i don't feel like we need to really beat a dead horse here i feel like you kind of get the point aries don't you so now darling let's get into your social situation here see if we can get any other clarification remembering that it's the two of wands the magician with the wheel of fortune the hermit card coming in here i did say that y'all were coming out of a hermiting phase seven of wands uh with the page of pentacles coming in some of you Aries might be receiving like uh, as you come out of your hermiting shell or like what helps you get out of a hermiting phase here for you is receiving communication from someone receiving closure it's almost the sense of like someone feeling bad for what it is that they did towards you aries or just like this sense of like feeling bad that maybe they just haven't been putting in the effort of communicating uh is what i hear i also get like this this sense of appreciation aries for people starting to appreciate what it is that you've done for them you might just get us like someone just buying you something just for a sense of gratitude but just know at this time like there are people are having some pretty fond thoughts of you overall which again i feel as if that just like lifts a lot of y'all's anxiety up quite a bit darling uh but naturally who wouldn't right so now let's get into the clarification cards for your ace of pentacles hierophant with the ten of pentacles general messages darling all right mm -mm. Eight of Pentacles, of course, might be getting a job promotion for some of you guys that are not in self-employed. Uh, job promotion, temperance energy, king of Pentacles, of course, as well. Back of the deck is the seven of cups. You guys are going to be having the opportunity to like things are going to start opening up for you aries and like how you want to diversify your income how you want to diversify your energy i feel like some of you guys need to make a decision on like like you can't have your hands in too many pots at once all right and if i had any areas in my chart i would relate to this but it's just like you want to it's like you want to be the jackie of all trades where it's just like you're on here you're on there you're doing all these things right but that's not the way to be the most productive, all right? I feel as if you're wanting to do all these things because now that you have this new found sense of freedom, you're just like, oh, I wanna do everything and everything all at once. But that's not the goal here. You wanna be thinking long-term. You want, again, you're thinking about the sense of like building that empire for going to go back to that terminology that I used here. King of Pentacles is the one that is intent on building that empire. Uh, Eight of Pentacles going up in the ranks, furthering your knowledge, right? Temperance energy, all right? Go with the flow with this a little bit more. Don't rush this process here because if you rush the process, right? Just kind of like with construction. If, uh, if people who are working in construction are rushed and told to get like a certain house done in like a short, such a short amount of time something has to give right something has to give and so um think about it in that way aries i can understand your sense of urgency or just the sense of like now that you're able to see and feel the world again and you can start seeing colors and appreciating music right some of you guys just might have had that depression lifted from you recently aries and you just want to make use of it all but just don't try to rush the process right you get it though i ain't gonna try to sit here and tell, how, tell you how to live your life who the hell am i right <laughs> new moon in virgo for you aries trust all will be well i mean this is a very fitting message when you think about it aries for what we were just talking about you i want to say the message for some of you aries is that it's you're afraid of things fading away it's like you it, it feel for some reason it's like you're afraid of this feeling being fleeting and don't be afraid of that all right i don't know what that message is for who that is for honey but uh 
take it as you will. You have the unicorn card. In, I mean, very fitting for that passion energy, darling. That wands, that queen of wands, honey, right? Indulge in your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression, darling. All right, continue expressing yourself. Putting yourself out there. Give yourself more credit. Give yourself the unicorn love, darling, that you deserve. But um, Aries, this is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you. Remember, I also have the monthly tarot reading uh, available for you. Uh, I have it linked up above somewhere, darling, that you can reference to and also on the end screen. But if you want to book a private reading with me, Aries, be sure to look at the links down below. Simply Velka. Dot com is the only place I do my readings. Uh, if you would like to connect with me on a more intimate level, Aries, my uh, social medias are just Instagram and TikTok. All right. Simply Velka. Same as here, darling. But um, thank you so much for giving me the privilege and reading this these tarot cards to you. And I love you so much, Aries. All right. Bye, darling. <laughs>